Okay, our sports here, Jesse Magdaleno. Uh, man, you finally got your opponent, bro. You got the date, April 22nd. Uh, how excited are you, man? Finally get that first title defensive. I'm excited, you know. This is something that uh, I've, been, I've been waiting for. You know, even though I was, uh, I was very excited to win the world title, you know, it was a great accomplishment for me. And now it's time to, to really put the work in and really get into it and uh, start training even harder than uh, I did for the, for the world title. And uh, now we got to make a defense and uh, we got to continue pleasing the, uh, the people. So you're fighting uh, Adelson Dos Santos from Brazil. Uh, tell me what you know about him. Was, was he a mandatory? Why, why, why Dos Santos? Um, it, it was just a name they threw at us. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, my management team uh, decided to go with it. I mm -hmm. think it's a, a great fight for us. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, he's a very skilled fighter. You know, I take no fighter lightly. Any 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 fighter that steps into the ring is a champion, and um, we're, we're just uh, we're looking forward to this fight. He's he's uh, he's quick. You know, he has a height advantage on me, and he has a reach uh, reach advantage, and um, it's something that's gonna uh, be an interesting fight for me. That's you, you talk about the height advantage, but we were talking yesterday and. Like, uh, Donaire had a height advantage. I feel like that's nothing new to you, right? I mean, yeah. you, I feel like, you know, guys being bigger than you is, is, is nothing it's, new. It's right? a normal thing because right. uh, I'm not that tall. And, uh, <laughs> you know, my, my son's bigger than me, but uh, it's cool. <laughs> uh, tell me, man, you're, you're fighting on April 22nd. Obviously, uh, Top Rank's putting on the pay-per-view with all three champions. You know, obviously, your buddy uh, Oscar Valdez here, Zudo, comes in comes into the gym all the time. Tell me what, what, that, what you think that atmosphere is going to be like, kind of having your boys on the card with you obviously you're you you want to fight your fight you're focused on that but you also there has to be nerves kind of going worried about your friends as well right? oh yeah of course it, it's um it was like that when i fought uh when i fought donaire you know on, on that card uh you know i was in even though i was in the uh, I, I, I went to the hospital to get stitched up and everything um you know, I still kept updated on, on Oscar's fight, and I mm. still had the nerves. I kept asking my brother, like, how's he doing? How, what's the uh, what's the fight looking like? Yeah. And uh, he was keeping me updated. But, um, yeah, you, you get a little nerves in there because, you know, they, they are your teammates. You know, you do uh, get a relationship with these people. And uh, it, it becomes more so as a, as, as a family. And um, that's the way I see Oscar, and that's the way I see Surdo. You know, Surdo's a great guy as well. And uh, I'm, I'm excited to, to see how, how, these, uh, how these fights turn out. You, you talk about the cut. You had to get stitched up after. Uh, after the Donaire fight, tell us about the healing process. You, you feel like it's 100 percent now? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean I've always uh, I've always felt 100 percent. You know, after mm -hmm. the fight, um, I didn't take too much too much damage. Mm -hmm. You know, besides the headbutt and, and the cut. But uh, other than that, um, yeah, I think it's properly healed. Mm -hmm. um, I, I feel nothing from it. Uh, I feel like it's not even there, mm -hmm. even though it is. But uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, we're, we're we're ready for it. Mm -hmm. You're fighting at 122. Obviously, you don't want to look, you know, past past Los Santos. But as far as like goals in, in the division, I mean, obviously you're you, you feel comfortable. You seem comfortable at 122. Are you, are you looking at kind of the champions going forward? Are you looking at possible move up? You, or? Um, as of right now, I'm looking at at whoever has a title at 120 122. Mm -hmm. That's who we want to go after. Mm -hmm. I want to uh, conquer. I want to sweep out 122, mm -hmm. and then um, as the years go on, then uh, move up to 126 and uh, do the same. You know, I, um, it's something uh, I want to end my career maybe at 130, 135 if uh, if everything goes well. Mm -hmm. And um, we're just looking at, at to fight the best. One of your stable mates, Quigley, is fighting uh, March 23rd. Mm -hmm. uh, on the undercard of that, Randy Caballero is going to be fighting. Okay. Uh, and he's moving up to, to 122. So is that... Wasn't he already at 22? I believe he was at 118 before. Yeah, but he, no, he moved up already. I know. He, I know. I know. He had like a fight, like at 120 or something like that. But he I, had a couple I, fights like at yeah, 22, I believe. Right. But but is that like? A, I mean, the fact that you know he kind of has that like. Uh, I mean, you guys were both training out in the um, in, in the valley in the valley yeah. right before. Did you guys ever do any sparring? Yeah, we used to spar. I fought. <laughs> I fought Randy twice, I believe, in uh, in the amateurs. How did those go? Beat him both both oh, times. Okay. Yeah. You know, I sparred with them, and um, you know he, he's a cool kid and. Mm. Uh, you know he's doing he's doing his work. I know he's a, a he was a former champion mm -hmm. at 118. But um, yeah, you know he, if if that's the talk, if that's what you know people want, you know I, I just want to fight the best people and I mm -hmm. want to fight the people with, with titles and people with uh, with with great exposure. Mm -hmm. What well, what asked you just um, this past weekend? Thurman Garcia happened. Uh, what do you think about the fight? Uh, I knew I knew Thurman was gonna win. Mm -hmm. You know um, his his skills are very uh, they're very unique. You know he's a mm -hmm. uh, He's a move around fighter and he's a puncher. And um, I knew that was gonna give trouble to Danny because Danny's that patient, but he, he wants to throw that big shot every single time. And uh, Thurman didn't give him the, the chance to do that. 
even though he did give away three rounds by mm -hmm. you know by moving when I think it was kind of a, a dumb move on him but um, I still think he should have kept busy those three rounds and pushed it a little harder but um, you know all around it turned out to be a great fight and um, I'm excited to see uh, a part two of that I, I just realized right now um you, Shakur Stevenson is on the undercard of, of the, the pay-per-view mm -hmm. and uh, you guys did some sparring today. Tell us tell us how that went. He's a great kid, you know, he's very talented, very slick and um, you know, he, it works perfect for me because uh, with, with the fighter that I fight, the 22nd is tall, he mm -hmm. has long reach and um, you know, we just, uh, we get here and uh, we, we, we spar the best, the best uh, the people out there and uh, working with him today was a, was a pleasure, you know, he's a, a former Olympian and um, he's He's, he's, he's on to uh, big, big and great things. Talk about the sparring here, man. I mean, obviously, Shakur is the silver medalist. You, you, you sparred him today, but Valdez is here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Conlon's here. Like, uh, uh, Emilio Sanchez, all these guys. Tell us about the sparring here at this gym. The, the sparring here is it's intense. You know, you get the best of the best, and there's no there's no light work here. <laughs> there's no light work here. You, you get, like, like you say, you got Mick, you got Oscar, you got Emilio Sanchez, you got myself. Uh, they come here and we just want to strive to be the best, you know, even though me and Oscar do have titles right now mm -hmm. We still want more and mm -hmm. our, our goal is to, to be the best of the best mm -hmm. and um, Working with these guys working with, with Manny and Edgar Hustle, you know It's just a great movement and a, a great environment for us to, mm -hmm. to reach our goals uh, Before the Donaire fight you you went blonde now it's kind of I don't even know is that like a silver? What's a silver? It's a silver. It's yeah, a silver. Tell, tell us about that, man. Uh, it's just a little switch up. This is mm -hmm. what I. This is the, the actually the original color I wanted to go with yeah. uh, at the Donaire fight. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, I kind of I kind of liked the blonde at the, at that time, and I, I thought it was pretty cool. And um, you know, now now I went with this route, and uh, it's something different, something to keep people on their toes. Now mm -hmm. everybody's gonna see like, oh, what's he gonna do next? You know. <laughs> right. But um, you know, I like it. I I, I like to be different. That's mm -hmm. why. You know. Uh, I like to be. I like to stand out and do uh, do little different things. You want to start putting like designs, cutting designs in there or something like that? Uh, I don't know yet. You know? <laughs> we'll see what's next, keep right? Gotta keep it a secret. Surprise everybody. <laughs> hey Jesse, April twenty second, man. Can't wait to watch you. Thank you, sir, for the time, man. I Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.